Hey there, this video is about Larry Elder. Larry Elder is a Republican and he just so happens to be black. He's running for governor in the California recall. I've been listening to Larry Elder for the last five years. I'm so thankful that I discovered him. He's really wise and he's really intelligent. Hopefully in the near future I can make a video on his biography. But in the meantime, I wanted to show a video of a white woman in a gorilla mask who throws an egg at Larry Elder. Now this woman is a coward, obviously. She clearly has no intellectual argument, so she just covers her face and throws eggs at people. The most shocking part about all this is the fact that she doesn't fear whatsoever being called a racist because this is how we know that millions of Americans who watch the mainstream media are under psychological manipulation. The media picks and chooses very carefully what they cover. And anything the Democrats, the liberals, and the leftists do, they never are held accountable. And they don't even have fear of being held accountable. So this is the type of stuff that they get away with every day. And millions of Americans who depend on the mainstream media never hear about any of this. Because if they did hear about this, they would start thinking for themselves, they would begin to critically think, which then, my God, might lead to dialogue and then might actually lead to tolerance. But the media can't show any of this stuff because the only way the Democrats can win elections is if they keep 95% of the black vote. And in order to keep 95% of the black vote, they have to continue to highlight anything that's somewhat bad to really bad that Republicans do and completely ignore, ignore everything that liberals, leftists, and Democrats do. If Larry Elder was a black Democrat, this would be the top headline for two weeks straight. But because Larry Elder is a Republican, nobody cares. And I have a theory that nobody cares because Democrats, liberals, and leftists don't think that Larry Elder can think for himself. The reason why they hate black Republicans so much is because in their head, these black Republicans aren't really thinking for themselves. These black Republicans aren't smart. It's these white liberals and leftists and Democrats that are smarter than these black Republicans. This is why they don't care what Larry Elder has to say. They don't take a step back and listen to what he has to say. Listen to his policies and what he supports. Because in their head, they don't think Larry Elder is a free man to think how he wants. They think that he's still a slave to the Democrats, and just because he's labeling himself a Republican must mean that he's a puppet. It must mean that he's an Uncle Tom or he's brainwashed. Also, if black men start listening and hearing what Larry Elder has to say, then maybe they will start to understand and agree with Larry Elder, and they'll start to support Larry Elder. And God forbid, if black men begin to support Republicans, then they will leave the Democrat plantation. And so you cannot let that happen. The mainstream media and the Democrats cannot let black men hear the other side of the perspective because they know that the other side of perspective is the logical one. Larry Elder is very intelligent. I suggest going to look at his videos. You'll learn a lot from him. But if you begin to listen to him, there's a high chance that you might leave the Democrat plantation and become a Republican. So stories like this never are on the headlines, never get any media attention. And it's very strategic. It's on purpose. Any logical, sane individual can watch this video of a white woman in a gorilla mask chucking an egg at Larry Elder, a black Republican, and be outraged with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this video clip, enjoy. If you haven't seen the video, let's start with this. This is what happened to Larry Elder when he's just out there trying to campaign at the homeless encampment.
Take your hands off me. Don't touch me again. 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 Yeah, they want to preserve their homeless lifestyle. Uh, fantastic. And you hear other people say, get out of here, boy. Uh, I'm looking at the L.A. Times story on this. Larry Elder cut short Venice homeless encampment tour uh, after hostile confrontation. Yeah, leave early. You don't see the woman in the mask. You just see a guy throwing a punch. And I guess oh, it's right, Larry Elder's fault because he showed up because obviously the people of Venice Beach uh, have been tortured by the rise of homelessness and the welcoming committee that Gavin Newsom has given homelessness around this Everyone nation. Everyone who's homeless, come to California, he, he says. Said this it. is what Larry Elder tweeted this out. He said, today I got kicked off the Recall Express bus tour. Before we even left Los Angeles, my security detail was physically assaulted, shot with a pellet gun, and hit with projectiles. The intolerant left will not stop us. We will recall Gavin Newsom. We will save California. As a reminder, black people are free. Black people can think for themselves. Black people can support who they want, and they can vote who they want. Chelsea Handler. Chelsea Handler thinks 50 Cent is her slave. I have a video on that, too. So if a black person votes Republican, and you have a problem with that, you're the problem in America. You are the problem in America because you don't think black people can think for themselves. So instead of looking into why they are Republican, or why they support a certain candidate. <laughs> Your ego is so out of control that you've convinced yourself you are smarter than that person. And because they vote Republican, they must be wrong. Well, have you ever thought maybe you aren't so smart? Maybe you aren't the intelligent one. Maybe Larry Elder is smarter than you. Maybe he knows more about the world than you. Maybe you're the brainwashed one. Maybe you're the puppet. Here's a great tweet that I found on social media. Never in human history, a resistance slash revolution of anything was backed by mainstream media, outlets, government, academia, and the art world at the same time. If your ideas are backed by the media, the government, academia, and the art world, it's safe to say that you are the status quo. Just because you are part of the majority doesn't mean you are intelligent. Just because you are part of the majority doesn't mean you're on the right side of history, and it doesn't mean you know what you're talking about. Hopefully as more of us begin to speak out about the double standard and the hypocrisy of the Democrats, liberals, and leftists never being held accountable for their actions, more and more of our fellow Americans will begin to wake up. Because we are on the right side of history, we are on the side of truth, and truth will always be our weapon. Thank you guys for listening. Have a good day.